there's no better feeling than a personal win. And the State Farm Personal Price Plan can help you do just that. Talk to a State Farm agent today to learn how you can bundle and save with the personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices are based on rating plans that vary by state. Coverage options are selected by the customer. Availability, amount of discounts and savings, and eligibility vary by state. Everything you learned in history class was a lie. Well, maybe not everything, but they skipped the best parts. Introducing Stupiracy, where stupidity meets conspiracy. Ever heard of the Olympic marathon that nearly killed its runners? Or the time a pope put another pope's corpse on trial? Join me, Scott Rizzuto, and Tim McKernan as we uncover the most outrageous historical moments and mind-blowing conspiracies you won't believe actually happened. Tune in to Stupiracy for your weekly dose of historical absurdity. Available wherever you get your podcasts. Remember, history is dumb, but laughing at it is smart. All right, I'm rolling. Trying to hear the song. <laughs> Technical issues. You want a little uh, leaderboard update yes, from the players? Yes, yes, give it to me. It is uh, one, one, uh, what time? One forty. One forty here. Well, it's two forty uh, the, there. The Twin Cities, two forty. Cameron there. Smith with a one-shot lead at eleven under over uh, Lahiri. Russell Knox at eight under. Wow, a completely new leaderboard. Paul Casey at eight under. Kevin Kisner at eight under. How far along are they, Joe? Are they going to get done? Today? The leader uh, is through. F- Five holes. Oh, well, they're going to be pushing her. Mm-hmm. They're going to be pushing her to get finished. Well, daylight uh, savings over. They'll have them play. Yeah, they'll have them play in the dark. Yeah, that's right. They're, they'll they be do done. Have the they'll savings. be done. They they'll... got six inches of rain there in two days, though. Oof. Wow. Yeah. It's, uh, it was uh, a pretty miserable low weather. What are the uh, twins up to? Are they on an austerity move? <laughs> Pat and I were just asking each other the same uh, thing. You know what? I'm now, they did sign my ADA, so my timeline, but I went back. Joe, in 2019, as we all recall, they set a world record for home runs. Nobody had ever hit this Bomba many squad. Home. A lot of strikeouts, but a world record for home runs. Yep. So they go into that offseason, and they need to tighten up some things. They need to, you know, maybe get a backup center fielder because Buxton's going to get hurt and uh, get some more pitch, definitely get more pitching, which they did get with my eight. I'll admit that. But... On January 15th, 2020, they signed Josh Donaldson, a free-swinging third baseman with power, to add to a lineup of free-swingers with power. And ever since that day, they gave him the biggest contract in franchise history, except for Joe, obviously, but the biggest free free agent contract. Ever since that day, I can't figure out what the hell they're doing. And uh, th- this was an all-timer uh, over the weekend. <clears throat> on Sat on Friday, was it Friday or I think Saturday? It was Saturday. Saturday they trade for the infielder mm-hmm. Isaiah Falfala. Falfala. F A L E L A. F A L E L A. Falafel. He uh, he. Uh, I, I saw something. He was raised by. Different He's of parents. Hawaiian descent, correct? Yes, he is Hawaiian descent. Uh, and, uh, Mahalo. So, and Derek has a press conference in which he says, oh, this guy's, we have solved our short press stop problem. This guy might win a gold glove. He's so damn, uh, you know, slick, underrated yep. defensively. And he can hit, too. We're very excited to get him. Well, why do you come out and make that comment when you know the only reason you got him is trade him to the Yankees so you can dump Josh Donaldson, the guy you signed two years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it. And you gave away your starting catcher in the process. Yeah, you gave away Mitch Garver for nothing. Now, these guys are such lunatics about uh, defensive catchers that uh, that uh, they, they were not a big Garver fans, I don't think. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know what they're doing now. They Did, they don't have a shortstop now. So, is, is, what came out of the negotiations? Are the playoffs really expanded to fourteen teams? Twelve, twelve, twelve. What a crying shame. Twelve is hard to take. That's but not 14, baseball. Fourteen would have been impossible Criminal. to take. It's not yes. baseball. So, no, it's not. 
Uh, but, uh, you know, you play 100 and <clears throat> Yeah, I, I said you play 162 games to weed out the mediocre, right? right. Now we're embracing the mediocre. Come on in. We're bra- embracing the mediocre. Because oh. these idiots think. There'll be teams with losing records in the playoffs. Yes. Uh, or, yeah, we're pushing it, that's for sure. Yeah. And they think that if we're playing Cleveland in the middle of September, the Guardians, mm-hmm. if we're playing the guard, the hated Guardians, and. Uh, and they're three games under 500, and the Twins are five games under 500, but they're only three games out of sixth. Yeah. That somebody's going to show up and watch it. Right. No, we're not that stupid. Quick aside, I don't know which one of you two were the ones to mention it, but I was watching the Davidson and uh, Richmond basketball game yesterday. Mm-hmm. Cleveland absolutely should have went with the Spiders as a nickname. Yes. Instead of the Guardians. Yes, yeah. Richmond's the Spiders. Yes. Yeah, the Spiders. Oh, that would have been, they would have had record sales for merchandise. Yes, it would have been fantastic. And have a mean looking spider. Yeah. Have so, one of those spiders that's crawling yeah. out in Australia right. <laughs> in the floods. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> spiders that will, you know, not the ones that you get a little Take bite your, and right. say, damn it, I think there's a spider in my bed. I got bites was it, on I'm losing a limb. Yeah, a limb. I just, that's <laughs> what, <laughs> Off a list. This is, when's this the is, World Series in December? Uh, it'll be November. No, uh, Fox told them they didn't want to have games in November because of football. Uh, football. Well, and, how are you going to do this know. with twelve? Teams? Well, they're going to what? They're double they're header gonna, playoff games. Yes, yeah. they will. They're going to hope that they don't have any bad weather in October. I got news really? for them. Yeah, I got Sometimes news. Sometimes that happens. Yes. Yes. What's my little rain? Late, uh, <laughs> Some light late snow. Late October. They they they. they they're just gonna no off days, right? Uh, I don't think so. In the play, I think you're gonna even in the best of seven, at least the, until the World Series. I think you're gonna play every day, which would kind of take care of winning the World Series with Jack, Jack Morris and uh, and uh, or, or Frank Viola and one other starting pitcher like the Twins did twice. So. Okay, now explain to me the Cousins deal. What that's all about? <sighs> I thought I, I got to give him credit for this. Uh, they, it appeared that you were either, you had two options, either dump him and then not have a quarterback or, uh, and and who knows what they would have gotten in return or extend him for like four years and spread it out. But what they did is they figured it out that they could save, you know, Brzezinski's pretty good at this. They could save $14 million worth of salary cap money. And give him a one-year extension, fully guaranteed. So he's gonna he gets what a fifteen million dollar signing bonus, mm-hmm. and then but they can add two voidable years at the back of it. Mm-hmm. So the his his cap number goes from forty five million to thirty one million, and they can handle that. And uh, and then they got him for two years. They don't have him for four years. So. They, they have no better options for two years. So there was no quarterback to go get. You're not going to go get uh, Mr. Massage down there in uh, in Houston, Deshaun Watson, and give up two number ones and a number two and a number three. Uh, so they, I, I thought they did pretty good here. And Brady uh, unretires to spend less time with his family. Yes, he doesn't want to spend that much. Right. How, boy, you got to have high standards if you want to spend less time with Giselle Bunchen, don't yeah, you? He, he needs to be checked out. <laughs> yes, he really right. needs to be checked out. He, I think he sees Rodgers not win, not challenging him when it comes to wins, but a lot of those record, you know, yeah. completions and uh, you know all that stuff. I think he's a. Uh, I think they're all uh, all the great quarterbacks are huge of ego, and I think he is too. But it, Joe, he's going to be forty five in August, right? And still playing, it's phenomenal at a high level. I mean, he was damn near the MVP this year. That means he's yeah, got to eat twigs and I, gravel again I, for another year. Yeah, I saw him play two or well, I didn't see him full time, but I see there was a couple of stinkers in there. You know, yeah, he. he had, I think well, they got beat nine to nothing by somebody. Right? That Saints game yeah. it was a Monday night or a Thursday yeah. night game or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah he but, was not but good. He, he risks suddenly being forty five years old yes, on September tenth. He does suddenly. Oh man, this hurts. And this, yeah, I'm suddenly. He's gonna wake up. He's gonna be forty five. <laughs> Yeah. So you're going to be on record as the guy going against Tom Brady having a good year. <laughs> no, not at all. But I, it would not surprise me that he would experience that yeah. sudden onset of being 45. True. You know how you always talk about 
when Mick calls up Keith and says we're going out again, right. and Keith said, "Geez, no, it was Charlie." Oh, Charlie, oh, said, oh yeah. man, <laughs> yeah. Well, Keith, I think, says it too. Well, yeah, now, yeah. yeah. You, one of them, whoever he calls, right. and I'll say, "Holy oh, crap!" Mick, God, come on. God, yeah. By the way, they just Great. announced a European tour for 2022. You're kidding, right? yeah. 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 Keith? I mean, it's my poor, back hurt. Poor Keith. So. But Brady does that with Gronk. Yeah. You know, yeah. Brady, Gronk's got to come back. Now. Brady talks and Gronk, Gronk said, yeah, I'm, uh, we've been getting video of Gronk from the Caribbean on the beach partying like a Not by himself either. Party, no. Spending his partying, million dollar bonus. Partying like a maniac. And now he gets the call yesterday. Oh, saying, he goes, oh, no. We're coming back, Gronk. Oh, no. Because <laughs> Gronk. <laughs> is playing in the middle of it, blocking and, you know. Getting he, drilled. Yes, and and when they want to hold the ball in the fourth quarter, they run right behind Gronk and make him run into some 260-pound guy. Gronk don't want to come back. Isn't Gronk a serious candidate for the, the brain stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's sticking his helmet. And that was there. before he played football. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> so, now, yeah. if you're the guy. Poor Gronk. <laughs> Is, is is this true? Is there someone that purchased at auction? Yes, Brady's last ball, last touchdown for five hundred five hundred thousand. How? I mean, what is that guy thinking <laughs> yeah, today? That guy, I I think he's thinking, boy, I hope he I hope he breaks his leg in training <laughs> camp. That's what he's thinking. I'm gonna go on a sturdy limb though and think five hundred grand to that guy probably isn't a big deal. You, True, but if, if you've you got spend, that kind of, but if you, yes, I see what you're saying. But aren't you but happy? Also there might be for, the eagle part. Yeah. yeah, aren't you happy for a guy being that stupid, though? I mean, to, yes, to have this yes. happen to him. Yes. Someone had the great yes. tweet with. Yeah, I mean, uh, I could say, yeah, this is, yeah, last, you know, this is last home We run threw ball. 24 more after that, but this was the yeah. somebody 24th tw- last. Somebody had tweeted out, you know, the face you make when you find out Brady's coming back after spending 500 <laughs> grand. It's the picture of Larry David with the, what? <laughs> what just you know, happened? Did the Five hundred grand for that purchase go to charity? I would assume so. Or did Brady pocket it? No, it was probably uh, at an auction. Dealer, I, don't, I don't know somebody how somebody got. I'm a sure some. There's got to be a charity. I'll find. I out. I don't have any idea. You but, saw a nice hockey game. Oh God, it was a hell of a game. I'm you know not Mr. High School. In fact, I went in 1983 for the morning for the afternoon session and got to see Columbia Heights and Reggie Miracle yep. upset. Was it Edina? I think so. So upset. Reggie Miracle stood on his head, right. won the game, <laughs> ran downstairs, talked to Reggie. This was back when I was fast. Made the flight to made the flight to Orlando that night oh for spring training because my tradition had always been to uh, it, it made an eight o'clock flight because I went and saw Reggie Miracle. And I'd been to one other hockey session since because I always time my trip to. To uh, Fort Myers. spring training yep. when I used to do like ten days uh, to Fort Myers for when the hockey tournament was on. I was there once about it was in the it was in the old building I think no I think it was in the new building so uh, early two thousands but that was a I was there all day I didn't like the hair on the endo uh, boys no yeah. it was pretty bad they all looked like Harpo Marx yeah the, well they all had blonde hair <laughs> yeah. too you know why don't you uh, d- uh, tell Pat what you told us about Andover. What's well, a concert? <laughs> it's out there, baby. Where, where is, is it? The downtown? Fifth, <laughs> no, it's the fifth high school. It's the fifth high school in Anoka, Anoka Hennepin County District. And you know, Coon Rapids was the power, and now they're cl- too close to the city, so people moved out. Yep. And then Blaine, for years, was the was the you know Anoka was the original right. power out there all by itself. <laughs> then Coon Rapids was really good for a while. And Blaine is still Bengals, yeah. fairly competitive, but then Champlin Park. They had the. They, I don't forget about Champlin yeah, Park. Don't forget, they <laughs> yeah, their, I know. They had their little run, but now remember it's their conditioning Andover. coach. Now it's Andover, Joe well, Maple Grove. Uh, Reavers can confirm this. I was I went out to Chan Hassan to see the Benilde basketball player. Okay. Thursday, uh, Olivia Olson supposed to be the. Uh, Number three recruit in the class of 2024. Which sophomore. means he's not playing for the Gophers. No, she's a... Uh, <laughs> or she, she, I'm she, sorry, she, I'm she, sorry. She, she. I drove by the Chaska High School for the first time in ever since they built it. It's the damnedest thing you've ever seen. It's a campus. It's a college Jeez. campus with... 
And is, is that 2020 they build that? Or no, Ch- you're talking about Chanhassen High School. No, Chaska. The new Chaska High Oh, yeah, the new Chaska High School. High School. When did they build that? Oh, one? that's, uh, I'm trying to remember when that's that. That's enormous. Well, ba- keep in mind, up until 2010, Chanhassen and Chaska were combined high schools. You know that's yeah. when they that's when they split and built yeah. Chanhassen High School was 2010. Well, they they're next. They got these two. Yep. Uh, Chaska is going to be the next. Chaska and Chanhassen are going to be the next. Shakopee is going to be a powerhouse, and uh, even Prior Lake to some extent because they still got land out there to build in. But all this, I mean, you're right. Andover is Andover and Maple Grove. Maple Grove barely existed yeah, 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, yeah, Maple Grove started in 96, I think, mm-hmm. didn't they, as a high school? Is that It's that new? Maple Grove is, yeah. Late I, 90s. I'm, I'm almost positive it's 96. Now, this dates have fell a little bit, but when I was at the St. Cloud Times, 67 or 68, and I covered St. Cloud Cathedral, and somebody sent me a copy of this column I wrote on the last, on Cathedral's game was against the St. Michael Mikes, mm-hmm. the Catholics, the little Catholic mm-hmm. school in the little town of St. Michael, right? Yep. It was just a, it was a Catholic school. And they, you know, that's all they had, right. St. Michael. Right. Now they probably are graduating, what, 700 easily. or something? Oh, it's, easily. St. Michael? St. Michael yes. Albertville. St. Michael en- Albertville. Yes. Enormous, enormous and uh, and then the, the true north has just all but disappeared. Rosso and International Falls. Now Rosso, and River Falls. Uh, Rosso got beat in the semi. They're still playing double A. Still yeah. trying to play yeah. double A because well. I don't think they want to lose the War Road in A. But uh, <laughs> but uh, they're they're still up there, stuck by themselves, and they dug in. They're still playing double A. I I don't know. I think they want it in eight. My so. uh, all my predictions. Uh, Really, were pretty bad. Did you see, by the way, your guy with uh, Mayasich, the photo, uh, yeah. the Prior Lake kid? Yeah. That oh, was Andrew pretty Bump? cool. Oh, yeah, that John, was good. John Down? Yeah. He, Bump. It was pretty cool. John was here? Damn. I think, I forgot. I uh, Was it Chris Lawn that John took the John still holds the record for seven goals. Yes. That yes. That might have been against Nettie. Nettie, Nettie was the Wilmer goalie. Basically had magazines on his shins when they were playing <laughs> when, his, the, the, when the Evelis team. But, uh, God, it was a... It was, uh, you know what? You know what makes hockey great mm-hmm. when it's loosey goosey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. You know when you're when you're not all that worried about giving one up, right? Because you maybe get the okay, next. Okay, then one. explain Wild losing six two to Nashville. Well, they gave up two empty netters. Yeah, so it's four to two. I didn't detect any absence of effort on the part of the Wild. Hmm. So that leads you to one conclusion. Maybe they ain't that good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But let, was the goalie. Let me say that this this top Andover line, that Thorson kid yep. and uh, guys with him, woo. And uh, then I also I saw an interesting war road when Hermantown beat War Road. Mm-hmm. Their coach, the the uh, Hermantown coach, had an interesting theory trying to protect the third lead, the third the three to two lead in the third period. Mm-hmm. The two defensemen never left the ice. <laughs> you know those yeah. his big two defensemen. One is going to Duluth, and the other is going to the other place. They never left the ice. But yeah, Andover was. Uh, uh, Louis was just dazzled by that game, and and Andover. Yeah. He yeah. went down and congratulated him. Yeah. Said it was the best hockey game he'd seen since 1969. Right, War Road, and he died. I was surprised he's because I heard him say that, but I thought the 90s, the five overtime game, Duluth East and Apple Valley. I thought he would have cited yeah, that one too. But how about chance? Sometimes you just play long. How many chances were? Yeah, there? that's I true. Don't know. That's I true. I mean, this game. Was six five and it could have been twelve eleven. Oh, the goalie performance was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really good. Because I told Joe earlier, uh, we went to the the bride and I took the boys to the Mankato game Saturday. We stayed for the first two periods, got home, and ended up seeing the third, the last part of the third period in both overtimes. So well, uh, they came out, they got behind two zero in three minutes. Then they were, then they got behind three one with th- seventeen seconds to go in the first period and got one. Yep. With three to go, and then they're losing. Then they got two minutes to go, and they're down five four. And Maple Grove's trying to hold off, and boom, they tie it. And uh, we also, uh, Pat, we we sat in the uh, near the student section Saturday afternoon for the Mankato game. Any and, alcohol involved? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, they they sell alcohol at a college game. Oh, they have since I went to school. Yeah. There. Oh, for Pete's it's sake. not on campus. Oh. 
Um, but uh, they learned some new words, uh-huh. uh, almost as colorful as when they hang out here on Mondays mm-hmm. uh, when we're not recording the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's very yeah, similar. They, they beat them 8-1 or oh, it something. Was, it wasn't even that close. Oh, they were okay. toying with them. Yeah. They're going to win it all this year, my man. Well, the only trouble with saying that is it's hockey. Yep. You know, But they got the goalie. They got the goalie, sure. and they got two great defensemen, if too. If you want your kid to be a great goalie, name him Dryden. Dryden. But did you check out, you know, we used to do the uh, state basketball tournament girls' first names. Mm-hmm. You check out the boys' first names in the hockey tournament. That didn't really. Bo, Bo, Ooh. B-A-U, all the... Doodling? Hey, Gavin with a Y. Oh, no. no. Uh, <laughs> Tragedy. There, Tragic. I think there's a... For suburban parents out here in the booties that are dedicated to hockey and they know they want their kids to be hockey players. Yeah. There's a place where you consult to get name. names to yeah. get names that are gonna, you know, to catch people's eye. You got a kid you? who's got the goalie named Dryden, the Mankato, Mankato goalie, and Dryden I take it that's McKay. his first name, Dryden yes, McKay. Dryden McKay, yeah, yep. pretty damn good. Uh, he's a really good goalie. Out. Oh, he's the best in the country. Yeah. Is that? Would you think Ken Dryden was a, an influence there? <laughs> yes, Dad was a goalie. I think okay. Dad was a goalie someplace, and Dryden was his hero. So. Uh, Fighting chance. Good. You know, was pretty good. there's yeah. genes in hockey. Mm-hmm. Well, by the way, Zan, Derek Plant's kid, who's the best forward for Hermantown. Yeah. Derek, uh, Zam is his first name. X-A-M? Z-A-M. That's not a name. Zam. Like Zam. And I went, to the, I went to the press conference after they won and said, so are you named after Zam Boney? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I've been asked that. No. But he doesn't know where it came from. Huh. But he's Zam. Zam. We know St. Zam. Zim, Zam, Zumi, Zao. What if they had come to the baby walk at the state fair and said, meet our son, Zam? He would have humiliated the kid. (laughs) I don't care if you did play in the NHL and were one of the greatest players in UMD history. We don't approve. Denied. (laughs) Denied. 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 Yeah, it was... uh, it was fun. It was. I enjoyed it, and I got there early enough so I didn't have to worry about the parking. Uh, she was a packed house they had a full too. House. Oh, I did. It was good. It was big. Yeah. Well. Now, do you still have to, do you have to buy a ticket for each game, or is it still is it one session for both games? No. I. Oh wait, I'm not sure. Did I they thought, clear out? I the, thought they. I don't know. If between they games, did you and Louie run down to Mancini's? No, I was stayed and typed, composed something. Yeah. For the, that I then you, subbed. You so. can stay for both games for that morning session. No, I mean, no, I meant so for the championship you go to the games. Noon game and the seven, they have a third place game. But that's at the Gophers Arena. No, Joe's alma mater defeated uh, oh, Prior thought... Lake uh, uh, in the third, the third place, place game. Place. Yeah, oh, and they okay. went overtime. Where oh, was that game at the X? That was at the X. When after the uh, title? After the type four thirty. So maybe you stay. I don't know. I think they announced different crowds though. So for the championship game, it may, it may be different. Okay. No, I think the, the first... third place game, you for the double A session, you have to have a different ticket, but you get two games then. Okay. If you want to watch third. Did place. North Carolina beat my Marquettes. Or yeah, can my Marquette be North Carolina? Can beat North Carolina. North Carolina is very mediocre, but uh, I know less this year than I ever have about a break. Here's all you need to know: Duke's going to be in the Final Four because the refs want well, Shashevsky in the Final good, Four. Did you see lowly Virginia Tech beat them? Oh, bloody! Yes. in the AICC championship. I heard game. something. I they, they got them in the same bracket as Gonzaga. They're playing Cal State oh, that's Fullerton true. in Game One. Duke. Yeah, they'll be they'll, that'll State be Fullerton. a bloodbath. And Duke I think murder. they put them in Greensboro too, didn't they? They are in uh make them uh, did they make them make the long Greensville. Ar- they made Greensboro. Yeah, how about they made the, them, they made the Dukies make the long arduous trip to Greensboro. Uh, how about the fact that the Big 10 has 9 teams and their highest seed is a is a 3? I yeah. found that shocking. <laughs> well, last year they had 8 or 9 and puked. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Well, Illinois was a 4 seed. I thought they had a yeah, chance they, you know, the underachievers of the year are Purdue. They yeah. ended up losing a lot of games with two They're big guys. Seed. And... Well, they almost lost to the Gophers here. Yeah. Iowa. Our Iowa. We send out our congratulations to our Iowa neighbors <laughs> to the south, champions in the Big Ten of both women's and men's basketball. Woo-hoo. As I said on Twitter, well, at least we can hold 
football over there. I got a math problem. I got a math problem. <laughs> What's the problem? Here's your bracket right here. Yes. Okay, then you got the play in brackets. Yes. Where do they end up? Ah, uh, they'll tell you up here. I think they play, play one of them's an 11 seed That's and one of them's the stupidest. A, you know, yeah. the what well, the stupidest thing is it used to be the lowest seeded teams played. Now, for some There's TV actual appeal, teams, they yeah. got Rutgers and Notre Dame playing. Yeah, who are both legitimate in the field teams. And it should be that because even now there'd be greater interest in the gambling era we live in, don't but, you think? But I mean, how does how does Notre Dame and Rutgers get the short straw? How do you decide those yeah, are the know. teams that get the short straw? I think is it part of the the last four that made it in? Is that was that part of the deal? You have to do the play-in bit? Uh, it used to just be one, right? There well, was... they have 30. They have 32 uh, conference champions to get in, and then they got 32 at large, so maybe they're the last four at large, at large. or something. But mm-hmm. I can't believe Notre Dame and Rutgers were. Yeah. Were, um, so who's going to win part? this thing, Gonzaga? I hope so, because that means Duke won't get there. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Damn, I, I saw that the Gonzaga, though, when they announced him, and they acted like they were excited. Damn, that Holmgren kid's skinny. Yeah. He's, you know, the the kid from here. The, Chet Holmgren. Chet Holmgren. He's great. But he's a he's seven one. There's no way he's going to the NBA next year, No, is there? I think he'll play another year, Kyle. He's, he'll he, get he, beaten to a He pulp. needs a sandwich, man. Yes, he's he does. He's really thin. His dad, you know, was a prior lake boy, and, I, you know, and then went to the Gophers and— uh, but his dad was not this skinny like him. He's, he's a good player, though. Oh God, he's a, he can do. He was shooting over forty percent on threes earlier this year. Speaking of skinny seven footers, yo, did you guys happen to see uh, the post game of the Brooklyn Nets and the New York Knicks game yesterday? No, I'm gonna guess not. no. Of course, I'm gonna not. guess no. So Kevin Durant, Another tough loss for Tibbs, man. Yeah. So Kevin Durant is at the. Con- or you know the post game presser, yes. whatever. So keep, Joe, pay attention. <laughs> so Kyrie Irving for the Nets was not allowed to play yes, yesterday because he's still, not vaccinated. Still has the not the vaccine. However, he wasn't allowed to be in the stands. No, he was sitting next to the team. Oh yeah, with no no mask or anything. Kevin Durant said, "What are we doing here? What? Yeah, yeah. He could sit right here." But yes, he but he can't play in the game well, because you know like, science. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what the like, hell? Yeah, well, that's like. You know, football games when the you got sixty five players on the sidelines, you got everybody else, and then the coaches. Then Zim's got to wear a coach over his uh, a mask, mask over mask. his mouth, right. over never touched his nose the entire season. Right. You know what? I have. You know, I was fine with masks. I had no problem. Sure. I, you know, I wear them to the grocery store. That was fine if they wanted to make me do that, but. It's over. Uh huh. It's over. I'm driving through campus today. Well, a lot of mass, I'm driving man. through campus. There's people on a corner, nobody within 150 feet of them, right. <laughs> wearing a mask. <clears throat> yep. Now you almost, you know, it, if if I wasn't then stereotyped as a, you know, Trump fanatic or something, I would have put down the put down the window and said, "You don't need it. You don't need it. You're good out here. There's you're, no one near you. Yeah, there's no you one are okay. out here. I you're, see mask wearing people all the time on my walk. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I love the people that are in the car by themselves. Yes, yes. driving down all the freeway. Up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I. Uh, I, I, Rook, I, you know what he fact, would say? I would get Why? If Why? I had left the grocery <laughs> store and forgot to take it down and was driving home, I'd say, Boy, you, well, get that man! You know, the people, somebody <laughs> might see you and think you're a moron. <laughs> you're in the car by yourself and you're uh, worried about it. You're worried about it. Brock got it, huh? Yeah. Has he got the crone? <clears throat> no, nah, he feels good. Has he got the crone? He's got the vid. Do we, do we know? We don't. Do we know which variety? Because you want the Crohn's. The Crohn's the one you want. What's the Crohn? Oma, oh, Omicron. Oh, Omicron. You don't want that. Oh, yeah, I had it. Not nothing. Nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. If you're if you're vaccinated. You ever had that? The Crohn? Yeah. No. Which you one? had something. I had the um, the vid. Delta. You had the vid. I had the vid. Even that, though you're vaccinated. It knocked me. You had me. the original. It knocked me on my A double S. That was way I back. got pneumonia. Oh, I was man. out for I was out for a week. Yeah, I remember that. Just yeah. laying in bed in doing, January. <clears throat> uh, January, December. No, this was uh, after Thanksgiving. Oh, really? Yeah, this is after Thanksgiving. Oh. 
And I've had my shots. I haven't had my booster yet, but uh, other than that, that's. I mean, Is there another? What, when do us old guys get another booster? I've been almost six. Even, uh, I'm John almost Hessen, six, John Hessen, almost, the guy that owns the. I'm almost six months removed from you? the booster. Yeah, I, got I got the booster October 1st. Uh, St. Paul Pharmacy the on uh, St. Clair and Snelling. Johnny Hessen, the old farm boy that's mm -hmm. a farmer's great guy. I saw him at the wild game. He said, yeah, I just come over right now. Come over this week, and I'll get you. What do you mm -hmm. want, Moderna or whatever, and get it done with. It used and to I be like when I ran into Sheldon at, at – uh, at Timberwolves games, I get my flu shot. <laughs> Say, yeah. come on in, and come on in Let's after halftime. I get Let's you a little get her poke. Done. So, yeah. But he said, yeah, there's people left and right still getting their boosters, and it's yeah, well, that's good. But well, what the hell? Do you get a vibe though? I and mean, you can see it on TV, the news. Cases are going down. Yes, we're going to be all right. Another shot. What's wrong? You want another shot? Did you I'll get a little ill? Shot. First time, but they told me it wasn't the vaccine. Came down with something else. Okay, you're away from your mic again. No, I have had I had all three of them and never had a on the on the booster. I got sick for 24 hours. I had a headache nothing. for 12 hours, yeah. maybe. Yeah. That was. It. I didn't feel anything with the shot. Yeah, but I'd like to try it. You know, I got all the Pfizer. I'd like to try the Moderno. Moderna, see how that go one. Go to the other side. Come yeah. to the other <laughs> side for a little bit. Do Just a little a, comparison. Yes. Well, how do I feel? What am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. Right. What do I? What's let's, going on? Let's get full of it. Uh, whatever it is, let's uh, let's get full. Of I it. don't want uh, another shot, but there's so many intelligent people, including doctors, who say I'm crazy. Get it the minute you can. Get her done with. Get those that body. Well, man. I, I told you. Uh, I told you uh, a friend of ours who was a uh, strong. Same age as me, gal, strong anti-vaxxer, and she's no longer with us. Mm. She got it about the same time. She that got it about did? a month before I did. Oof. Oh, yeah. wow. So, so well, uh, on that note, you let's know go to the band. <laughs> you know yeah. what they no, say? The they, you know what they say? What they say? Who's they? they, they. Whoever they is, yeah. it's like this. See, I'm showing you it's with my hand. hand there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you, here comes that that virus bug that's going to get you, right? Right. Yep. And it's here. Yep. And then it's here. And then it's here. Yeah. And then it's here. And then it's here. So you either want to get him when he's here or over here, but not when he's up here. Uh -huh. Right. You know, it's a heat. sometimes. It was like a big <laughs> hill. <here. laughs> yeah, a it's hill. like a big hill. Big it's hill. like that. Top of the hill is more dangerous. Than the bottom of the hill. Right. It's always been thus. On the bottom of the hill, <laughs> you're fine. Top yes, of the hill, you fall look down out. at the bottom of the hill. Look Things, out. You're, I'm going to fill okay. this out just for the hell of it. Why yeah, not? Yeah, hey, speaking of uh, Iowa, there was a, uh, thanks to Super 70 Sports, they captured this on Twitter. The Waterloo, uh, I believe it was an NBC station, has the picture of Jordan Bohannon after he beat Indiana yes, with the game-winning yes. shot. They misspelled shot. Oh, mm -hmm. and uh, Super 70 Sports the then ball. said, oh, yeah. boy, he sank a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Game winning shot where shot was misspelled. Yeah, that happens. Uh, <laughs> the great Bill McGrain uh, became the Vikings PR guy, but he was a very a good uh, gopher reporter for the, and he ended up PR guy at the vice president at the Bears. And now you know McGrain. Yeah. And, but he used to cover the gophers. And uh, I remember being a copy boy in 64 or so. And uh, he was lauding Archie Clark with the Vikings. I mean, the Gophers. And he had in there with his gaudy bag full of tricky shots. <laughs> but it didn't come out oh. shots. Ah. And this was still in the linotype days. And we always suspected that a linotype guy... Mm -hmm. Thought it was pretty funny to put an I in there instead of an O. He had a gaudy bag full of tricky Shot, shots, shots in the outstate run. Yeah. And somebody, somebody, I think old Louis Green was the uh, the high high strung slot man and saw that and went absolutely Never insane running downstairs. I never had that, that one. Yeah. No. I always told you though the. The, the most nervous moments of my life were taking line scores for the Cold Spring baseball high school oh, God, baseball that team. That terrified me. Uh, star player Steve Fuchs, <laughs> catcher no star star pitcher Steve Fuchs, yep. catcher Gary Fuker, and the shortstop oh. Steve Fuchs, uh, Steve uh, Gary Ficker, Ficker Careful. Fuchs, 
and Fuker. Were that would have it. terrified me. It would have been. You couldn't. I, I would have just said no. I said, I'm not covering one of um, their no, games. Imagine no. being the play-by-play guy <laughs> for them. Right. Oh, my yeah. goodness. My, oh, Fuker. <laughs> my friend that works at the airport, when he filed his first, uh, you have to send a report after mm-hmm. every shift. Okay, I got this figured out now. And the first shift report that I sent out said, early evening Report. Oh, yeah, you missed I, a letter. I, I missed. Uh, I missed the F. <laughs> yeah. And the one gal said, "You might want to proofread the stuff before you send or it." Or do we really have yeah. to follow this schedule? <laughs> yes. yeah. what What'd if, you figure out? What if? We, what if it's an hour later before we feel the urge? Or... <laughs> I see how the bracket works now. They left a blank slot for Alabama. So, for example, the Rutgers Notre Dame winner plays Alabama in yes. game one. Yes. All right. Yes, now yes, I get it. Yeah, you yeah. figured it out. I'd figured it. Now out. we can go. Use yeah. your expert. You've won a couple of those, haven't you? Just by going. Well, just by a mad monkey just yeah. going like this. Right. I don't I don't even bother anymore. I don't follow it close enough to even. I do it because the kids do it. Yeah, I was going to say I'm going to do one with my boys, but that's about it. Because mm-hmm. we don't have the uh, radio station bracket challenge that we were all so heavily oh, invested yes, in every that. year. Oh, hey, don't yet. forget to do your bracket challenge. <laughs> yeah. Do I have okay. to? Yeah. Cameron Smith has a... One well, Cameron Smith and whoever Lahiri is, they're tied yeah. at ten under. Lahiri is, I believe, he's a foreign fellow, uh, country of in India? India or Pakistan. Yeah. 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 Victor Hovland is one back. Mm-hmm. I, like I see chances. our guy from India. He kind of likes Putin, huh? He won't uh, say anything oh, bad about. Gonna, he won't yeah. say anything bad about Putin. Because uh, Putin's <laughs> offering him cheap oil now. Oh, okay, it's that's a why. deal. He's yeah. still taking. It. I'll get you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's uh, it's an interesting world in which we mm-hmm. reside, uh, that's for sure. All right, uh, fellas. See ya. We're going to go to the bank. bank. Catch you later, bros. EcoFun has e-bikes in stock. And why is that important? Because every other bike retailer is out of stock and will not be getting new e-bikes until December or January. You can't even get one for Christmas from them. The weather is warming up, so if you are in the market for an e-bike scooter or ATV, Go to EcoFun right now. EcoFun Motorsports in Forest Lake. Talk with Tim Bloom, the owner of EcoFun Motorsports in Forest Lake. Tim and his family will help you select the e-bike that is right for you, and they will deliver it to your front door in the metro area. Right now, EcoFun has Bentelli e-bikes and Yamaha motor assist bikes in stock. EcoFun also carries the full line of Yamaha scooters, motorcycles, and a wide variety of Yamaha ATVs, including ATVs for kids. Check out EcoFun Motorsports in Forest Lake and online at EcoFunMotorsports.com and tell Tim that that old bicycler Patrick Racy sent you. It's Reavers here for Josh Arnold. Mr. Money Talk is what he's called around these parts. Josh has been an investment consultant since 1978. This extensive career has given him the experience needed to manage your money in both up and down markets. Josh provides independent, personalized investment planning to individuals and small businesses, including retirement plans. Josh has been doing this for quite some time, and the thing that separates him from the rest is he will always give you straight talk and never sugarcoated advice. When you invest for yourself or for your small business with Josh, you get the same straight talk that you would expect from Mr. Money Talk. You also get an investment consultant who will work proactively with you to create a strategy that fits your goals. You can also hear him at the end of Garage Logic every Tuesday and Thursday with a full report. Give him a call today for that free 48-minute financial consultation at 952-925-5608. That number once again is 952-925-5608. Or for more information, just visit his website, josharnoldinvestmentconsultant.com. Hi, this is Chris Howard, host of Plugged In With Chris Howard. It's crazy to think that a few weeks ago we were talking about whether or not Tua Tagovailoa should consider retiring after two concussions and worldwide debates on player safety and NFL culpability. Tua has done nothing but go back to work and currently has the Dolphins riding a three-game win streak and one loss behind the division favorite Buffalo Bills. While everyone was yapping about the end of his career, Tua Tagovailoa said he'll decide when it's time. And clearly, he's not ready to hang up the cleats. Hi, this is Chris Howard from the Plugged In with Chris Howard podcast. BetOnline.net is your number one source for betting football and the start of the new basketball season. Find all the latest player developments, team matchups, news podcasts, and in-depth analysis on every game. BetOnline remains your continued source for all your sports wagering information with live betting up to the minute scores for every the fastest and easiest way to check in on all your favorite games and events, including the MLB playoffs, the start of the NHL season, MMA, boxing, and golf. 
And if you love sports podcasts, you can find those at BetOnline as well. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to learn more. BetOnline, where the game starts.